Welcome to All About Football post-match talks with me, Charlene Smith. The 2020-21 Premier League season has finally started. Now, our first game was away to Fulham, which resulted in a 3-0 win to Arsenal at Craven Cottage. Fulham, welcome back to the Premier League. Now, I must say, Fulham did play really well. But we put on a solid performance and we was consistent throughout and managed to walk with all three points. So this is what yesterday's lineup looked like. Arsenal's starting eleven was Leno in goal. As we know, Martinez is now making a move to Aston Villa. We had Holden, Gabriel on his debut, Tierney, Bellerin, Elneny, Xhaka, Maitland-Niles, Willian, Lacazette and Aubameyang. On our substitute bench was Macy, Kalasinac, Sabayas, Willock, Saka, Pepe and Enkatia. Fulham's starting eleven was Rodak, Hector, Odoi, Cabano, Kearney, Reem, Cavalero, Reed, Brian, Onoma and Kamara. On their substitute bench, they had Ariola, Christie, Le Merchant, Angusa, Knockart, Bobby Reed and Mitrovic. So we saw our two new signings make their debut. They both started and what a debut it was for them. I mean, it was a fantastic performance for both players. Willian, as we know, has come from Chelsea. So he's familiar with the Premier League. However, Gabriel has come from Lille and he worked. He put in a very good performance. I must say, I am very proud of what Gabriel did on the pitch yesterday. Willian had a fantastic performance. He really made a presence on the pitch and he was involved in all three of the goals that Arsenal scored yesterday. So the first goal was Lacazette that scored the opener on the eighth minute. Willian had an attempt which was saved by the keeper and Lacazette managed to finish. Gabriel, Debut got his goal on the 49th minute. So Willian took a corner kick and Gabriel headed the ball into the back of the net, making him the third defender to score a goal on his debut for Arsenal. Congratulations, Gabriel. The third goal was from our captain, Aubameyang, who scored on the 57th minute. So it was a lovely crossing from Willian. And our legend in the making held it in just outside the 18-yard box. Gabriel, our new signing from Lille, who hasn't played football for six months, came on the pitch and he delivered. So there was that little error within like the first six minutes of kickoff, which almost led to a goal. He played fantastic. He looked so comfortable in his position. He played with confidence. And I did make a video um, to show how excited I was about our new sign-in when Gabrielle signed. And I showed a little highlight of what Gabrielle is all about. And I must say, what we saw on the pitch yesterday is the same performance that we see in his highlights. If you go on YouTube and check out Gabrielle's highlights, I feel like he mirrored that on the pitch yesterday. Let's just bear in mind as well, this is his first time playing in the Premier League he doesn't really speak English and for him to come out on the pitch and put in a performance like that, he worked quite closely with Rob Holden as we saw. Even in training as well, uh, Rob was sort of guiding him. But to come out on the pitch, he's only had like, a few training sessions with Arsenal beforehand and really deliver and get a goal on his debut. I mean, fantastic. And I'm so excited to see what Gabriel brings throughout the season. So if this is what he can do on day one, when he's new and just getting into the swing of things, understanding everything, imagine what he's going to be looking like, you know, later on in the season. Gabriel was our man of the match yesterday, which was well-deserved. From that performance yesterday, his comfortability on the ball. And I'm excited to see what he's going to be like, um, against the tougher opposition. So when we're playing teams like Liverpool, City, I'm feeling confident having Gabriel at the back there. And also, let's not forget, David Luiz is out with the neck injury, so he wasn't there to guide Gabriel. And it was a great performance, so well done. That's our two new signings that made their debut, and what a performance they both put on. Willian, we got on a free. Gabriel, we paid £23 million for. 
I must say that is smart shopping. Artea, do you want to come and do my shopping? You could perhaps save me some money. It was a good, fantastic performance from the whole team. Uh, Leno, back in goal, managed to keep a clean sheet, which is what we like to see. El Nenny, he had a good game. And did you guys see Rob Holden? Now, this came out of nowhere. I was not expecting to see this. I mean, I know Arteta said everyone needs to fight for a spot in the squad. But boy, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see nothing like that. Holdinho, new nickname for you. Maybe you don't want to make that uh, low move out to Newcastle. And he's, he's proven that to Arteta. Look, boy, this is what I'm about. Arteta, who has gone from head coach to manager. Congratulations, Arteta. And it's well deserved. You know, there's something about Arteta. He seems to bring out the best in players, as we can see. I mean, El Nenny, Rob Holding. Look at Gabriel and Willian's performance. All right, Willian, yeah, he has played in the Premier League prior to coming to Arsenal. But Gabriel, let's bear in mind, he doesn't speak good English. He's only 22 years old. Uh, all his surroundings are brand new and he's put on a performance like that, getting man of the match, scoring on his debut. I mean, could we ask for anything more on his debut? Bellerin, another good game for him. If I'm honest, there isn't anyone that I could fault on the Arsenal squad yesterday. Everyone worked hard. Lacazette on the opener. Let's hope he has another good season this season. And let's hope he doesn't move. We want to see him stay at Arsenal. Abamyang, our captain, now in the post-match interview, the famous question was asked, has Abamyang signed the contract? As you know, we've all been waiting patiently for. And Arteta's response was, no one has to be worried. It will be done in the next few days. And uh, Troops and Robbie at AFTV both seem very confident, 100% confident, let me say, which was their words, that Abamyang has signed the contract. And we are waiting for an, an, an ooh, can't get my words out. We are waiting for an announcement this week. So stay tuned. Keep your notifications on. So Abamyang has, according to AFTV and Arteta, by the sounds of it, has confirmed that Abamyang has signed and hopefully that should be announced soon. Right, I've got to give credit to Fulham as well. I feel like they did play really well. You know, they wasn't an easy team to beat. They did put in a good performance. Uh, they were pressing really high. Uh, their defender, Hector, <laughs> he, he was really going for it yesterday. I mean, he was playing on a yellow card and at no point was he holding back. He really was going for it, uh, to put it in the nicest terms. He, did, he was playing on a yellow. Perhaps could have you know, got another yellow and got sent off, but their forward, uh, Bobby Reed had an attempt at goal, quite far out, didn't quite finish. Kamara also had a shot outside the 18 yard box, which was a good attempt, but didn't manage to find the back of the net. Uh, Fulham were a really good side. Um, they were a young, energetic team, and they all look like they've been hitting hard in the gym, boy, I can't lie. Some of them are looking proper hench. All in all, it was a good performance from both sides. I must say, I was really pleased with Arsenal. I feel like we played good throughout the whole game, managed to keep a clean sheet and walk with all three points. And I feel like there is a good positive energy around at the moment. And we've been on a good run. We've been winning our games. We walked with two bits of silverware as well. Um, and we've kicked off the new season with a win, with a clean sheet. Let's keep this good energy and this fight going and see where we finish. So here are the match statistics from the game. As you can see, possession-wise, it was almost half and half. If we look at Gabrielle's stats as well, so his total passes were 113, successful passes, 107, and his success rate, 95%. I really, really feel like we've acquired a really good centre back. So our next game is at home to West Ham, which is taking place on the 19th of September with an eight o'clock kickoff. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you made of yesterday's game. Let me know who your man of the match was. And if you enjoyed, give this video a like, make sure you've subscribed. 
and I'll see you soon. I'm Charlene Smith and I am signing out.